right, so we got a couple of episodes over here. We got maybe, what, 12 episodes? Uh, okay, let's start the timer. So, um... What the hell do you want?! Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the... Actually, we are on uh, uh, level, level 6. How many levels are there in Die Hard? -er? I don't know. Can you find out? I can try. On your phone? Sure. I, I, these guys, these bad guys are just coming out of nowhere with, um, oh look, Merry Christmas. Bad guys are just coming out of nowhere with the, um, with the, would, you, would you stop that? <laughs> Seriously, it's weird. It's like a fucking vampire trying to, like, <laughs> I, 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 just give me just a drop. You know, I'm not looking up the, uh, the episode. I'm not looking up the levels. Just, just kill them. Just kill them. Kill him! I think we're almost done. I think this, I think this is seven levels. Look, it's explosive shotgun. Explosive shotgun. Exploding shotgun. It's... Wow, Christmas is really. Wow, look at those wobbly trees. In all honesty, Christmas is really fucked up for us because all we kept talking about during Die Hard is like, I, like I said, sex. But that was joyous for us. We got to fuck. Like, obviously for the first time for us, of like, oh my god, we're about to have sex. This is gonna be fucking, fucking incredible and amazing. Like that's like one of the best things you can ever like, experience. And it is really upsetting that people haven't experienced it yet or can't experience or anything like that. It's it is. Don't upsetting. worry. Don't. Lose the virginity to someone just to lose it. Oh yeah, that's you know what? I'll admit that's a problem that I that I did. I was trying to lose it to get rid of it. And I think you did the same thing, right? You were trying to lose it just to get I rid mean, of it. I mean, no, not really. I mean, I liked them, and I was re I was just really fucking horny. I wanted to fuck to fuck, not to fuck to lose. No, I was trying to fuck to fuck because I. You know what? At the time, I didn't realize that I was starting to, like, during when I was a teenager, I didn't realize I was starting to suffer from a syndrome called, uh, HLS. What's that? Hyperactive libido syndrome. Ah! Where my sex drive is, like, abnormally high, and I get, like, massive, like... I mean, I jerk off, like, eight times a day. I get, like, massive, like, boners, and, like, that, at, like, weird times, and then I get, like, headaches. Like, my stomach starts to hurt, and then I get, like, massive headaches and everything, and, like... What the fuck is wrong with me? And I thought this was just normal because this is just like what pe normal people experience. But apparently, uh, around the time when I was just, you know, uh, doing the online dating thing and everything, I was dating some girl. Yeah, long distance relationship, that sort of thing. We all did it. Um, I was dating some girl online, long distance, and she was from like Algeria or some shit like that. Which, you know, she was really hot, really, hot, really nice girl, sweet and everything. Uh, she spoke in like the multiple languages. She had a really sexy, um, uh, Arabian type of accent. I don't know. She was really good looking, but anyway. Uh -huh. She was an herbal medication specialist type of thing. Like, she she basically knew a lot of, like, natural herbs and everything like that. But she knew a lot of symptoms and sicknesses and illnesses. So, I'm explaining to her that, like, because I was a little bit worried about the fact that about her religion, like, she can't have sex with, like, you know, until she gets married type of thing. And she, she was, no, first off, she was like, no, I'm not really into that. I'm more modern, so I was like, I basically wouldn't have sex with anyone. I mean, I already had sex, so it's it's whatever. So it's not something that I'm, like, bound, bounded to, like, an a, a unwritten law that I have to only have sex with someone I get married to. But but she was like more worried about the fact that like like you're you got like a very high sex drive or something like what's up with that? I was like well I you know I get massive pains and stuff like that and I just gotta jerk off in order to make myself feel better. And they said, do you have HLS? I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'm like saying you don't know what that is. So she explained it to me about all the stuff that that I had and I didn't even know that I had. And I'm like saying holy shit I have HLS. Huh? She basically dis what the fuck? No, oh, motherfucker. She basically discovered and knew that I had HLS, and she was like saying, "Oh, don't worry, when we get married and everything, I'll, I'll like I'll save you and make sure that like your HLS is cured or something like that." Yeah, it never happened. So I'm basically living with HLS at this point, and it's not that it's it, it's not fun. That's all I'm gonna say because I get massive pains and I get angry and I like I gotta jerk off or so we're gonna end up in the newspaper tomorrow. Can if you I do don't. your angry jerking off imitation thing that you like to do? What the Rah! that? Yeah, but it's 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 like a little a little bit more of the err like uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not really like that. It's more like the fact that like I'm in pain and I have to jerk off, or else we're gonna end up in the newspaper tomorrow in the obituaries or put on the front page. You should just be like Vegeta, and when like you shoot a load that has enough force behind it to propel it forward. Yeah, that was just also, like fucking Gallic gun. That's also one of my worries is that my. 
if I hold back way too much, my jizz will be way too much and be coming out like a shotgun, like with, like, with perf- like, my sperm used to come out with purpose and anger. Like, it shot out like a gun out of my Oh dick. yeah, like it was looking for the, the egg. <laughs> with purpose and anger, just going- <laughs> It'll be inside the wound going, WHERE THE MOTHERFUCKING EGG AT?! WHERE IS THE EGG?! I'M TRYING TO GET SOMEBODY PREGNANT! Now, in the womb, her egg is all, like, you know, scared, and she's hot, and she wants to get pregnant, but she's scared of getting pregnant, so she's hiding behind the uterus and telling all the other lesbian eggs, like, T tell him, tell him I'm not here! And all the lesbian eggs go up to the sperm and going, She's not here! Why don't you just leave her alone? Like, stop stalking her! Get the fuck out of my way, Doc! I'm trying to get somebody pregnant! Damn, dude. If I jerk off enough, and like my, like, I'll get my HLS leveled, it won't get like down to a level where I'm like, like, it'll get down to a, a level where I'll be like, yeah, I'm good, or like, I don't want to have sex anymore, my sex drive is definitely down there, but by tomorrow, it'll be like, we gotta fuck, or that, that, or, we're, we're, we gotta fuck, or we're gonna get fucked. So, now, like, like, after I jerk off enough, like, eventually it'll start coming out like, <sighs> huh. Hello, 222, please report to the tip of the dick. Uh, 222, please report to the tip of the dick for an attempted pregnancy. Thank you. And, um, it'll be in the wound and everything, and then it'll just be, uh, like, you know, out of nowhere, and it'll be like, Hi, hey, anybody home? And her egg is angry, knitting a sweater in the back, just going, In here, faggot! Oh, oh I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> that's my situation when it comes to my, uh, my sperm and semen. Uh, like I said, if I, I'm terrified if I hold back way too long, I might kill, like, and if I'm blowing my load in some girl's head, I feel like it's gonna be like a shotgun and blow their head off. Or what the like fuck? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I want to I think alive, I saw a hentai flesh parody that had shit like that. Yeah. I, I think I have to, and I think that's what stuck to me. And what I saw me this fear. weird hentai video where this dude was watching his girlfriend get fucked by someone else, and he was enjoying it, and then when he blew his load, he was on his back on the bed, he blew his load, it shot straight up to the ceiling and stuck there. Well, have fun cleaning that shit. I'm gonna get to the to clean that shit up. Then there's and a jerk, and jerk off to that. Then there's a hentai where this girl's getting gang raped by who, who the fuck knows what. This and this guy is up. not this guy's not having it. So he ends up legit going Super Saiyan and killing them. Is this thing on Newgrounds or something? No, no, no. It's a real hentai show or series, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but the dude goes super. Google. Hentai guy goes Super Saiyan and look for something that's not Dragon Ball Z and I'm I sure you'll find say, it. It's gonna be Dragon Ball Z. Wait, is it live action or cartoon? It's, it's Cart hentai. Oh, hentai, hentai. Sorry. Is he one of dying? He's a boss. Oh, oh, sh oh there he goes. Alright, so I get. Oh god. So we get into one of these. Oh, there we go. Is it the end yet? I told you when we're flying. How well, you watch the movie! Uh, after this, well, uh, spoiler alert in the movie, he, uh, chases these guys with a gun that he thinks is loaded. He finds out later, um, it, it's full of blanks. So, these people were actually shooting at army people that were actually working with, uh, were working with the terrorists because they were all using blanks. And they were basically, like, going, like, yeah, they're on our side, and they're, uh, yeah, we... Alright, so I think I killed him. Uh-huh. He doesn't actually kill somebody in this scene. Because, you know, what the using... fuck? Do I need to blow it up or something? Yeah, no one, no, no one escaped. Okay, so I have to blow it up, I guess. Alright, so, wow. now I think the next level is going to be the last level, I think. Hang on, we're going to find out right now. Here, come on. What the fuck were we talking about? A lot of sex. Oh. It's really upsetting. It's like, that's our topic of discussion. Oh, come on! Snowboarding! This is not the last level, by the way. Damn it. Can you please find out how many levels there are? Please. Nah. Come on. Then you... No, because we're still going to play through them. I know. I just want to know how many levels. I, I just want something to look forward to. Well, that's the fun of it. All right, so then this is the scene where he's using blanks, but of course, you know, whatever. Ah, this is annoying. So then I think the next level's got to be the last level then. Maybe. I like the music. Admittedly, a lot of uh, 
Okay. A lot. Of, admittedly, a lot of um, uh, PlayStation games actually had a lot of good soundtracks. Yeah, okay, oh, by the way, I think I was stuck in that story where that girl was saying, "Oh, we'll get married and I'll cure your HLS." Which, yeah, obviously, uh, we didn't get married because uh, she lives in Algeria, and uh, yeah, that didn't work out. So it's really upsetting. But whatever. Next then time I, on the Club Breakers. And then I met Sam, and she's good for me. Sam is our pet goose. I, I don't know what that means. Are we giving real names on the show? Susie was ge the Game Grumps' pet goose. Well, they pretty much already know who it is now, so sure, why, whatever. But yeah, too good for me. She got it, she, um, I'm not gonna, you know what, I can't even explain too many stuff to her. I, I, I can't explain too much, uh, stuff about her because she will kill me if I, like, reveal too much shit. That... Richard told me you have glass cutter nipples, and you make him decorations with them. What? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you I didn't see that robot chicken iCarly skit where uh, oh. apparently Carly had glass cutter nipples. That's what I remember. And when she, when Spencer was crying, she hugged him and he, and he was like, "Oh, stop poking me with your nipples!" Was that iCarly? Yeah. What other shows did you actually watch? A lot of stuff on Cartoon Network and Nick. Jesus. Although I hated, um... I don't even remember the fucking name. I hated the show that had Britney Spears' little sister in it. Zoe 101? Yeah, there we go. I hated that shit. It was stupid. Yeah, well, that didn't last. It only lasted for like a couple of episodes. Not, not even a full season, a couple of episodes because she got pregnant. No, it lasted though. No, she got pregnant, and then it was like, okay, get the fuck out. And the then girl! They, and then and then Hannah Montana came out, and then it was like saying, if you get pregnant like that Zoe 101 bitch, you're gonna get fucked. Like, you're gonna get fucked up. No, no, no. The, gir the girl, um, in Zoe 101, there was a, there was a girl who ended up liking Zoe's little brother and, and made out with him a little. That was Sam from iCarly back then. Oh god, uh, Sam and Cat? Yep. Oh Wait, which one? Sam was the blonde, right? Yeah, but in Zoe 101, Sam was there. I just like one. I just like Cat because she uh I just like her red hair because she's fairly hot like that. But um Sam, that that girl in that I don't remember her name is like Melissa something or something. Like I don't Kat. know. I don't know. She but, um, um she's definitely moved out of like Disney, uh, not Disney, uh, you know, uh, Nickelodeon shit, because she's posted up a lot of, like, sexy, not nude pictures, but, like, a lot of sexy pictures. Fun fact, um, in, for Sam and Cat, the woman who plays Cat, she was on Victorious, and in the first few episodes, they gave her, she has a, she had a different personality from what she has normally, which is, like, little shy and soft and whatever. Before, she was outgoing and weird. The personality they gave her in the very first few episodes of Victorious was the same personality they gave to one of the actresses in the show, uh, the Amanda show, with the skit within it, as told by Moody or something like that. There was a girl who they copied her personality onto Cat in Victorious. As told by Mo Moody. That was a some, weird some show. Like that. Yeah, no, I know that show. That was a weird show, but it was also funny. It didn't really, like... Oh, no, it was Moody's Point. Moody's Point, that's what it was. I was thinking of As Told by Ginger. Like <laughs> it's a weird show, but... And, and she's also fucked up, Amanda Bynes, because she's uh, a little psychotic. I didn't know for the longest time that Amanda Bynes was the fucking Penelope girl. <laughs> I was a kid. I didn't know Penelope and Amanda were the same person. What? The black girl, girl that wants to meet Amanda. Oh! I didn't know they were the same person for the longest time. I was a fucking kid. I was like... People can act as two people at the same time? Fuck. Alright, right, now this is the last level. Okay, so we're gonna do this all in one episode. Alright! Oh, the episode might be too short, so I'm not gonna deal with that BS. Yes. That's fine. Alright, so... Alright, so that, that... See, we're literally flying. I think we're just in that helicopter, honestly. But I think we need I, to... Get I, like, I like to believe we're using our helicopters. Our, our dicks to fly like helicopters. Yeah, I... Look, my dick is big, but not that big and strong. But I'm just gonna just go with the fact of being like... Yeah. I'm good. All right. I think we just gotta protect this plane from landing. That's all it really is. We don't shoot it down. No, you can't. Don't shoot it down. You just gotta protect it so it lands. Give me that! God damn it! What the fuck? Where the fuck did they come from? 
In reality, you no, you can't stand on the wing of a, of a jet like that while it's in like super motion because it'll like destroy you, pretty much. Well, you won't even last. You'll just like fly off of it. Jesus. Come on, give me some shit. God damn. But well, you still gotta kill the helicopter. I think the helicopter's done. But yeah, sh uh, the girl who played, uh, wait, who was it? Sam and Cat? Cat. Wait, no, Sam. She did a lot of, like, you know, pictures of her, like, all in, like, underwear and all sexy and everything. So, it's like, yeah, I want to get away from the Nickelodeon, you know, like Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon shit. So, there you go. And the same thing with, um, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, Miley Cyrus. Where she was, like, basically went from, like, oh, yeah, I'm this girl and, uh... I'm Hannah Montana and I do Disney shit and everything, and then she got away from that and being like, yeah, I'm uh, Miley Cyrus and I'm gonna get full blown naked. And... I don't know, that girl was just like, she's not right in the head, unfortunately. That's upsetting. Yeah. And her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, is just going like, yeah, I don't want any relationship to, with her at all. I don't know who she is. Who, oh, Miley Cyrus? I'm saying like, that's that's what her dad is like. I don't know who she is. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Well, Billy Ray Cyrus is actually pretty, is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Apparently, uh, uh Danny Sexbang, uh, well, Danny Sexbang, D Danny Avedan actually met him in person, which was actually kind of cool. But, um, I think, oh, come on, how many are there? A lot. I think after that Choice Award, I don't think it was a Nickelodeon Choice Award, it was like a Choice Award thing where, um, they've done this, uh, skit so many times where they basically showed this off that it was Miley Cyrus getting, uh, butt-fucked by Beetlejuice. I don't know if you've ever seen that. No? What? Well, not actual butt fucked. It was like. It, it was this. I don't know who it was, but it was a guy who was like dressed up as Beetlejuice. I don't know why he was dressed up as Beetlejuice and he thought that was attractive, but apparently that's a thing. So he dressed up as Beetlejuice. I think I'm supposed to destroy this, but I can't really tell. There's so much shit going on. Maybe I'm supposed to save this, but I'm shooting at it, so it doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, he's, um. Dressed up as Beetlejuice, and her ass backs up right into his crotch, and basically, yeah, it just basically looks like Beetlejuice is uh, raping uh, Miley Cyrus. Wow. But no, the other way around was basically Miley Cyrus wanted to get raped by Beetlejuice. So, a little fucked up, I don't know, honestly. I just thought the picture was fucking funny. But in the audience, you see Will Smith and his, and his son, Jaden Smith, and they're just looking at it going, Ah! Did we kill those? What the fuck? No, this is the plane I'm supposed to help land. That oh, plane. No, this is the LEPD. Actually, this game actually does not place, take place in LEPD. It takes place in, um... You know, I've been... Uh, not, I, Los Angeles. I've been falling Washington. asleep for the past three minutes. <laughs> what, I've been doing all the talking? Yeah, I've I'll tell you what, look, asleep. it says game complete. Well, I mean, it's just late in the morning, that's why. And look, they landed. Safely. I don't give a fuck. But Holly's on that plane. I really don't give a fuck. No, seriously, I hope it would've plane. crashed. Knowing that. Yeah. Wanna to talk to the skeleton and the, uh... Flaming dude? That's like the funniest people in this game. It's just the skeleton and the flaming dude. It's upsetting we didn't get more of these people. So, only out of curiosity, Joe, but I gotta ask this. What are the codes for the third game? I don't fucking know. Can you find out? Not now. Because we're gonna play the third game. Not now. Yes, we are. I'm tired. Yes, now. No, wait, wait, wait. Just watch this. Just watch. Because this game is... It's we agreed, no more late night episodes. I, all right, all right, no more late night episodes. We're doing the third one. Well, we're not going to do the whole, the whole thing. We're just going to do like maybe like one thing from it. Because in all honesty, the third one is actually very difficult. Because you're doing nothing but driving. Please, let me drive. Oh, look at that. We 100% all the, both those games. And we're already 18 minutes into this episode, so I am going to have to end it. But I just want to show you how difficult, difficult this one is. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Oh Jesus! This one takes place in 1995, and, and this one's also in, this one's in New York City. So and this one's also a really good one. But it takes it's um, the story goes that uh, John McClane uh, terrorists take over. No, they they they're, they're bombing up uh, places in New York City, and they want John McClane because apparently the person that um, three lives left is um, the brother of the bad guy from the first game, the first movie. Hans Gruber, so his brother Simon Gruber. There's. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 
Oh fuck. Yeah, this is difficult, Joe. This is difficult. Is it? You can't make sharp right turns. Uh, the fuck. So we gotta defuse bombs, and that's how we defuse them. God, this camera angle. There we go. Yeah, we're making sharp turns. I think. I just don't know where the fuck we're supposed to be going for the bomb right now, and fucking Samuel Jackson's supposed to be giving me directions. Turbo that bitch. Eh. Eh. Whoa. Eh. This is di this is difficult. And the time I got a time limit on the bottom. I've been falling asleep. <laughs> this is so much fucking fun. Eh. There. Whee! Oh, dude. This is so much fucking fun. All right, I'll stop it. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so quit. Not sure. I'm gonna ask a friend, get a like. Okay, I'll quit. Yes. All right, so we'll play this another time, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but this is the whole entire Christmas segment of Die Hard. So, with the vengeance. Next time on the cooperators. Yeah, I got me exit out of that, because that's upsetting to see the Twin Towers, but you know, there's 99, 95, but, oh, and yeah. honestly, it's kind of cool. I forgot we had those. Oh, that's fucked up, dude. What? It's been so long. <laughs> Next time on the cooperators, we're gonna try to end on a higher. Seriously, we gotta end on a higher note because this is just fucked upness. We've been talking about sex and a lot of other BSness. So, uh, oh, your neck is warm. <laughs> I was gonna be like, get the hell off me. All right. Next time on the cooperators, we're gonna be playing something else. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Suck my wiener. Too many people have already sucked that. So. We'll see you next. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> and the Joker got away.